Alert meteorologist Chris Spears. Chris, we got to get those rain gauges ready for this week. You do because we have several chances for rain uh, over the next few days. A live view for you there this morning from uh, I believe this is our mile high cam. Mousetrap camera. Thank you, Ashley, our director telling me mousetrap. We're zoomed over to the west to the high country. You can see the beautiful snow capped mountains. Good morning to you. Happy Sunday. So glad you are waking up with us. We are in the 30s and 40s here on the eastern plains and out on the western slope. 42 officially at the airport in Denver. It's 41 in Boulder. Get a little higher up. You will find 20s and 30s in our foothills and our higher mountain valleys. Vail, you're 34. 35 in Swash, 42 in Lyman right now. It's also 42 out on the Battlement Mesa. The Schneiders waking up with us this morning. Good morning to you. Here in Denver, we are now pushing out of the 30s and into the 40s. We'll stay there through the 10 o'clock hour. Then we'll get into the 50s this afternoon. We should get up around 57 or 58 for a high. But do you see the cloud symbols down here? Uh, Mid-afternoon and into your evening, the clouds are going to increase as a weather disturbance comes by. Overnight, we had just a little bit of disturbed weather here in central Colorado kicked up a few rain and snow showers. Very, very light in some cases, even though it shows on radar, not reaching the ground uh, and it's starting to fade away. I've noticed in the last hour the echoes here really starting to break up. Metro Denver is dry. It was dry overnight, uh, but that could change later today. And here's why. Let's go all the way up here to Idaho. There is a little weather disturbance in the flow upstream from us, and that will cross us this afternoon. And as it comes through, it'll kick up cloud cover and later on today, a handful of showers. I think northern Colorado has the best chance to see some rain shower activity to the north of Denver and then off to the southeast of Denver. But we got the chance in there for everybody this afternoon and into your evening. So uh, if we see a little bit of light rain, uh, shouldn't hamper your plans too much. Much because it appears it will be much later in the day. 40s and 50s today for the mountains with some morning sun, increasing clouds this afternoon, 50s and 60s on the eastern plains and some 60s and 70s out west, about 57 in Denver, roughly 10 degrees warmer than yesterday. Low pressure uh, in the upper atmosphere. It's a big trough. It will hang out through Wednesday and so we are going to stay on the cool and unsettled side and you can see that right here on your first alert extended forecast only upper 50s and low 60s today tomorrow and Tuesday each day a chance for some showers and storms Tuesday looks to be the wettest and coolest day then Wednesday mech the pattern flips 70s and 80s coming our way with some sunshine and this is the Memorial Day weekend coming mm -hmm. up so all eyes on that let's push oh hang on I went too far <laughs> Good grief, Chris. All right, let's do this all over again with the whole sound effect. All right, so back to Saturday. Now let's do your Memorial Day weekend. It does cool off a bit with a few chances for thunderstorms, but it doesn't look widespread at this time. Well, and we always say this, we appreciate the moisture. Well, yes. yes. I mean, after the spring so far, yes. oh my, we're ready for it. We are so ready, Chris. Yes. Thank you so much. Sure. Well, the music